One of my favorite things about the winter months is preparing those hearty and delicious winter soups and stews. And while I cook, I love to enjoy a nice glass of wine. And one of my favorites is this Prophecy Cabernet Sauvignon, which showcases the best of California. This wine is expressive and smooth with layered flavors of fresh blackberry, plum, and vanilla with toasted oak and a long, smooth finish. Now this beer cheese soup we're making today can be made two ways, with the vegetables intact or put through a food processor at the end, which is the way we're gonna prepare it today. Now the sausage we're gonna be using today is a smoked pre-cooked sausage, which will saute in a tablespoon of oil to caramelize those edges. This will be added back to the soup at the end. and we'll drain them on some paper towels. Now to that same pot, we're gonna add our roux mixture, which is two tablespoons each of oil and flour. And we'll bring it together. And we'll saute for about three minutes to cook out that flour flavor. Next, we're gonna add our aromatics, which the French call mirepoix, which is used for pretty much every soup and stew in France. Celery, onions, and carrots, but with the addition of bell pepper. And we're gonna give it a saute in our roux. We're gonna keep this moving and saute for about four minutes to caramelize. Next, we're gonna add our beer, chicken stock, and next we're gonna add our garlic. But for convenience, instead of dicing up and pureeing a garlic clove or two, I love these squeezed tubes of garlic. They're everywhere. You just squirt them in because it's already prepared garlic. Stir it in. Now we'll finish up our ingredient list with our pimento cheese and our pepper flakes, and we'll bring it together. I can recommend two great beers for this recipe. Stella Artois is a great pairing with this dish. They've been doing it right in 80 countries since 1366. This Belgian pale ale is golden yellow and has great carbonation. It has a nice bitterness to it, and you'll pick up on the hints of the lemony flavor, the fruity sweetness, and dry finish. It's clean and neat. Another great beer for this dish is the Dogfish Head 90 Minute Imperial IPA, and it happens to be the beer we used in the recipe. And for more information on this beer, let's hear from the brewmaster himself, Sam Caligioni. Hello, Sam Caligioni here from Dogfish Head Craft Brewery, and today we are talking about 90 Minute Imperial IPA. So with 90 Minute, our unique continual hopping method was born from a vibrating football game. By vibrating the hops down the football game, we could add tiny doses of hops to the beer the entire time at a boil. Basically, continual hopping makes for a beer that's intensely, beautifully hoppy without being super duper bitter. Aromatically, you've got tons of piney, woodsy notes from the hops, but in the taste, you've got this really nice orange marmalade balance between sweet malt notes and nice, crisp hot notes. So 90 Minute IPA is available everywhere, every state that Dogfish Head sells in. It is 9% alcohol, it is 90 IBUs, and you can find it in cans, bottles, or on draft. Seek it out, you won't be disappointed. Cheers. Now to really smooth out the texture of this beer cheese soup, we're gonna finish it off in our food processor. Now we're gonna let this cool for about three minutes because you don't want the top to blow off and we'll season with a little fresh cracked pepper. I check for seasoning on the salt and it's perfect. Nothing more needs to be added.
But what if you like wine? And one of my favorites is this Jay Vineyards Pinot Gris. They've been crafting Pinot Gris from some of California's most celebrated vineyards since 1996. Pinot Gris' versatility, crisp character, and bright fruit notes continue to inspire us year after year. This wine has complex layers of lime, green pepper, and pineapple that complement hints of jasmine, a distinctive minerality, and mouth-watering acidity. Enjoy!